Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Look what I got. <laughs> the Crayola Pipsqueaks Skinnies. This is the 64 pack. They are washable markers, so they're great for kids, of course. Um, it's a small size, big color. Now, there's one main reason I bought these. These are similar to the Super Tips. I um, believe the tip is a little bit different on these. So this is the front of the box. Then we have the back of the box. It says 64 unique and bright colors. And you will see the reason why I wanted to get these and swatch them out for you. Let's see if I can get these open. Let's see. Open here. Read directions. Ah, Lisa, Lisa. Okay. An adult cannot open a children's box. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I was not doing anything wrong. That was a bugger of a box to open. Jeez. Okay, so look at these pretty colors. All right, so this is what they look like. Let's get a little bit of a darker one. They are little beauty. Now they do have regular pip squeaks and those are much bigger around and they're great for kids to hang on to. These are the pip squeaks skinny. So I think they would be easier for us to color with. Now the reason I really wanted to try these out, you know there are very few Crayola products that actually have color names on them. Guess what? These have color names. <laughs> so we have Pip Squeaks here, small size, big color, washable, lovable. Then right here the writing is kind of small. Let me zoom in. But right down here in three different languages, the top one being in English, is the color name. So this one is called Sea Bubbles. <laughs> so I bet you these are going to have really cute, cute names. I don't know. Are you able to see that? I think so. Okay, let's zoom back out. All right, so we're just going to do a quick swatch of these. Um, just see what the colors look like. So I am putting a sheet underneath here just in case um, these are, you know, of course, water-based, but you never know. So, okay, I am going to pull out the yellows and just kind of do it in my normal order. Oh boy, some of these are hard to read. This is green, yellow, really? Okay. Oh, and I'm not going to need that row, am I? Green, yellow. Oh, let's, let's zoom back in. So, because of them being so short, some of you may not like this because you know, of the length of them. That definitely is not green yellow. It's a very pale yellow. All right. Then we have, oh my gosh. I don't think I'm going to go through and write these names down. I think we're just going to swatch them out and look at the colors. If I you know, when I do make a color chart of these, I'll write the color names down at that time. And we're rolling away. So, quite a few yellows in here. Ooh, there's like a bright fluorescent yellow. Quit rolling away. Here's more of a golden yellow. So we know, of course, due to its size, these aren't going to last as long. But, oh yeah, let's go ahead and look at the tip. Okay, so they are kind of different than our, um, our, our, our super tips. 
um, they come to a very fine point. Let's see how fine we can... Oh, yeah, you can get a super, super fine point. Or, on the side, very thick. Oh, I like that tip. I wish the super tips were just like this. <laughs> All right, so we can have kind of an orangey-yellow. Caps, very, very similar to the super tips. All right, what other yellows we have in here? Here's another, kind of looks like a golden yellow. A little bit lighter than what I thought, because of course with Crayola, they don't always match, you know, the, the colors. And they just keep rolling on my desk. Get over here. My desk must not be even. All right, let's go to the oranges. I just thought they were so cute. And then, yeah, having color names. Ooh. There's a light orange. Now, you can get these at any of your craft stores. Um, and I believe they're on Amazon. If so, I will link them down below. Oh, and here's another orange, kind of like a red orange. Boy, are these juicy. Holy cow. You see how that goes down? Yeah, a lot of ink. And here's another one. Very pretty colors. Nice variety so far. All right, looks like we have a red here, a regular red. Yeah. Okay. Not sure if that's a red or a pink, but we'll put it here. Yeah, that's more of a, well, it's actually kind of a light red. And so let's go on to the pinks. Oh, look at how pale that is. Very light pink. Oh, and that's more of a purple. Okay, whatever. This looks to be a peach. Kind of on the orangey side, but... They're just rolling all over the place. That's a pretty pink. Nice pastel type of pink. Oh, these pinks are pretty. Let's see. Let's grab a few of these out. I love the name. Pip Squeaks. <laughs> Okay, is that all? Oh, no. I have another one hiding here in the corner. So, quite a few pinks. There's a lighter one. This one kind of looks like maybe a magenta, yeah. Well, bright purpley pink so let's go into oh here's a dark red should have been up there well, that's more on the brown side almost that one looks like a dark purple some of these it's really hard to tell this looks like a very light purple kind of a purplish blue Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, I like that too. Any more of them hiding in here? Oh, here's a light one. Looks to be like a lilac color. Ooh, pretty. Wow, I can't believe how juicy these are. Okay, let's pull out the blues. Quite a few of them. Oh, here's a nice darker purple. I was hoping they would. 
not real dark, but and all of the blues here. It's quite a few of them, and quite a few greens too. There's really a nice assortment in here because there's a number of browns. Wow. Okay, so let's start with this one. Ooh, like that blue. Oh, nice sky blue. Oh, love that color. Mm, cornflower blue. Let's go up to the next column. All right. Oh, look at that gorgeous color. Again, doesn't match the cover at all. Hence, we need a swatch chart. Okay, we have a couple of turquoisey colors. So this will be a fast swatch. <laughs> oh, love the color. Just a couple more blues. There's a nice regular blue. A little bit darker, and then we have a really, is this a deep blue? It doesn't, yeah, like a navy blue or denim blue. Okay, I think that's all of the blues. Now we have a ton of greens in here. And this comes in like your standard crayon. Um cardboard you know where we have these four separate little inserts oh and there's a marker in there yet <laughs> so but great for kids oh and we do have a couple of blues in here that I missed oh that's a nice lighter blue and this is a real true. Oh no. I thought it was going to be kind of greenish, but it's not. Very pretty. Okay, now let's get on to the greens. Pretty. Yeah, it's about the same color, isn't it? <laughs> I do love the fact that these have colors, color names. Twist o lime. I want to see how funny the names are. This is <laughs> inchworm green. <laughs> this is four leaf clover. So these darker ones, you can, you know, definitely read the names on much better than those yellows. Green sprout. Uh, oh, that would go up with the blues, probably. Um, what's next? Garden green. There's a regular green. And grasshopper green. I should have been reading all of these so we could see the names. <laughs> and green. <laughs> Ooh, definitely not just green. And asparagus. So, of course, the, the names don't really go with the colors, but dark sea green. And a dark green, we have turtle green. Okay, so again, nice variety in color. Okay, let's go to the browns. And we have quite a few of these, too. A few grays, not many grays. I think there's only three of them. And then our blacks, so... 
Okay, here are our browns. Looks to be like a, well, maybe it's not a brown. Maybe it's an orange. Yeah, that's kind of a peach color. What name is that? Maybe it would let us know. Yeah, peach. Small potatoes. <laughs> Uh, and this one is Burnt Sienna. What a boring name for a kid. <laughs> and uh, Tiny Toad Brown. <laughs> so some of them are quite hilarious. Other ones are just our standard color names. Chocolate Chip. Expected that to be much darker but it's a pretty brown couple more we have ah we have bear hug <laughs> so real deep kind of grayish brown and finally sepia a name we recognize all right three grays we have ah kitten gray One moment. Okay. I found another gray. <laughs> Very pale gray, so that's nice. And again, the lighter ones are, you know, it'd be nice if they put this in black. So I'm not sure what that says right off the bat. Then it looks like this is supposed to be a metallic. So, yeah, again, that's, oh, timber wolf. <laughs> Well, that's another really light one in medium gray okay I do not have 64 here how come and we have toy poodle I must have miscounted and that's supposed to be black wow definitely not black <laughs> that is a dark gray so yeah maybe I miscounted my uh, rows 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Yeah, so I accidentally had 34 on here rather than 32. So there are 64. I figured there had to be. So let's zoom back out and let's look at these colors. All right, I think there's a fantastic array of colors for just 64 markers, right? We have a number of yellows here, and they're all different. This actually could maybe go in the browns. Looks kind of like an ochre. And some nice oranges. Some of the reds are similar. These two are a little similar, but they're each a little bit darker. So, and the pinks are nice. Now here's some that could go up with the reds. Um, purples are nice. And the blues, I mean, nice variety of blues and the greens. None of the, these first two are similar, but other than that, and, and this, you know, these really pretty blues, this one is a hair darker though, so, browns, there's a couple here that are kind of similar, but then we do have four grays, and then our black. I think for 64 pipsqueak markers, there is a nice variety of colors here. So, all right. I may uh, try these out in a color by number book. You know, something that, you know, doesn't have a gazillion colors because with 64 um, markers, you may not find what you need. But, uh, yeah, I like with this skinny tip, you know, your color by number, you're going to be able to really get into 
some fine areas. Or regular picture. It doesn't, of course, have to be color by number. So, what do you guys think of these? Again, very budget, budget, oh my god, very budget friendly little markers. And they have color names. <laughs> They're really cute color names. So, thank you so much for watching. Again, this was a little bit of a quicker, um, a kind of a, a short uh, swatch video, you know, normally mine are quite a bit longer than this, but yeah, I didn't want to take the time to try to read the color names. Um, when I'm out in better lighting, I'll probably be able to read them a little bit better. So, okay, yeah, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this watching video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a terrific day. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.